Hello everyone who's been keeping up with the um, IRUV Invisible QR Code project. Um, this is actually the head of uh, the Rovio because I'm making a new sensor head, uh, the version 2, and I've got it pumped up to about 3.2 watts, so it's just, just a tiny bit overdriven maybe. Um, this is just normal daylight, okay? Um, and I also have a few uh, lights on it, so I just wanted to kind of give an example that way. Um, you can see the uh, focal jewel is on, okay, the lens. And what I'm going to do here is just kind of straighten this up so it's pointed at the ceiling. Which is harder than it looks when you are holding a camera. Ooh, there we go. Okay, alright, so it's basically pointed at the ceiling. Uh, alright, now I'm going to show you the ceiling. And there we go. Um, Again, shows better through the camera than it does in real life, but super neat that this works in straight up daylight, okay? It's got daylight outside, so, and we have a ton of windows, 17 windows actually in this room, so no one can say that, you know, it's a dark room or, or whatever, things like that. So, um, this, this method of uh, creating a grid or markers for the uh, navigation and robotics, a cue for robotics, things like that, um, is, is definitely um, doable. Uh, even in broad daylight, uh, uh, in, in indoors. So um, I'm also going to be looking at and doing something outdoors too as well, but indoors is what the heck of the project's for and it definitely works so here's actually the, the reading camera you can see there so um so i'm going to go ahead and solder uh one of these leds in okay which looks as bright as sunlight and to me it only looks like a little uh, a tiny bit of a uh, purple glow and uh, it's going to go into the head of the uh, now heavily modified Rovio and uh, that's what's going to be used to be able to get this little guy around so very cool very cool